today I have Kathy with me. Um, super, super good friend um, for lots of years now. We met um, through my YouTube, but she ended up living only, what, a half hour away? Yes. About a half hour, 40 minutes. Anyway, and she seen me in Conoco one day and she's like, hey, wait, are you or Donna? And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, I watch your YouTube. So anyway, long story short, we met in Conoco over my YouTube channel and she lives close to me. So she gets her hair done and literally Kathy is the sweetest person you could ever meet. So um, yeah, she's darling. Okay. So what we're going to do with Kathy today, we're changing it a little bit. Um, we're going to go tighter down here. Um, the picture she showed me was super cute. So it's tight here, um, has a little volume here, comes down in. Um, we are doing it shorter up here than we usually do. We're going a little shorter here and we're going to keep it about where it is by your ears and then just bring this forward. So what we're going to do is we're going to start in the back and we're going to take this straight across. Sorry, have to plug it in. <laughs> Come on, plug. So yeah, she wipes it up and we'll go tight and I'll show you how to do it tight as soon as the rest of the cut is done. Okay, now we'll start on the top. Like I said, we're going a little bit shorter than normal, which will be darling. Super cute. It's been fun. She has changed her hair a lot. Um, we've done really short. We've done kind of off over to the side, off the head. We've done, anyway, we change it a little bit every time. So it's fun. Okay, so of course down here, I am going to make sure that my fingers are touching her scalp. That way um, we get this tight. And I'm probably gonna come back with the clippers just to tighten up the edges um, because the picture she showed me, it has tight edges. It looks nice and clean. Um, yeah, I love, love that look. So we will do that as soon as we're done. So you can see I'm just coming around the head um, until I get to about here. And that's right when I come tight, taking that length off by the scalp. Yeah, it's been years now, hasn't it, Kathy? Yeah, it has. It's been so fun. Super fun. I was never so excited as when I realized she lived by me. <laughs> You're so sweet. Well, and yeah, when she was like, wait, so are you from here? And I said, yeah, I, I live in Nephi. And she's like, wait, you live in Nephi? <laughs> so it was awesome. Super fun. And she got my number, made an appointment, and we've just been friends ever since. So it's awesome, awesome. And then what was funny is we got talking and there's another lady, um, which is so funny because she comes today also. Oh, she does? Uh, yes. <laughs> and there's another lady over in Leamington that, that comes to me also and she knows her. So, and I can't even remember how we got talking about how we knew that she was, you know, coming to me also, but yeah, that was fun. Small world, right? <laughs> That's a small world. Yeah, I remember when we had gone to Hawaii a long time ago and we was talking to some people in the pool and they was from um, Draper, Utah. And I'm like, <laughs> wait, what? We come clear across the world and see, see that. Okay, so I'm going to take this. Since we're gonna tighten this up, I'm gonna take this length behind her ear. That way she doesn't have to deal with it. It's just gonna dry, stay out of the way. Same with this, I'll come on this side, sorry. And comb it forward this way. And then just take that length off behind the ear. There's a little couple hairs behind. Make sure you comb it good so you don't have that. 
Okay, all right, now for the top, since I had told you it was going a little bit shorter, we're going to start here. That's gonna be so much easier to stand up. Because <laughs> that was long. So you can see I'm point cutting too, as I come straight across. I love point cutting. Okay, now I'm gonna hold this out. Um, I'm gonna just kind of come straight up here and go around to the top of her head to that layer or length, if you wanna call it length. Okay, I'm gonna hold this out. You doing good, Kathy? Yep. Okay, perfect. Okay, so we're gonna come up here by the ear. Make sure that length is right there by her ear. And then I'm gonna come, um, just making sure that's good. I'm gonna come in up a little bit open and shut my shears softly like this just to make different lengths in there so it doesn't get heavy and bulky so it's more PC and more like fringy around here okay then we're gonna come to her other side gonna hold this out trim that same thing going up to these this top length up here that's that length so I'm just taking that off Awesome. Now, same thing here. Just make sure you get that by the ear so it looks nice and clean. Yeah, Kathy's one of the best grandmas you could ever find. I'll tell you that. She's very involved. She loves them. Okay, so you can see how like different lengths in there. Okay, and then same here with the bang. Different lengths coming up in. So you can see I'm just taking that out. So then after I dry, I'm gonna double check and see if I need more. Um, where we wanted it shorter through here, I am going to show you a trick that I like to come and do. I like to hold it out here. There's a tiny corner usually all the way across. So I like to come and take that little bit of a corner off. Um, it'll just help it stand a little bit better. So I like to take that little corner off. That's between like these layers and the bang area. I just like to take that little corner off. Depends what look you're going for. You don't need to do that all the time, but where she's wanting to kind of lift this more and have like more volume and height up there, you might want to take that little corner up. Okay, now we're going to tighten this back. So I like my blending comb. It's um, very tight, I guess you could say. Flat, <laughs> tight, whatever you want to call it. You come in and then hold out. If you hold in too far and you take all that hair off, it can take too much. So you want to make sure you come in and then like angle that brush out. And this will be so nice for when it grows out, it won't stick out anyway. It'll just stay tight and short enough to her head that it won't start bugging her. All right, so I have that bottom area tightened up some, 
And then of course, after I dry it, I'm gonna see if it needs to be tighter. Um, but for now, I feel like that is pretty tight. So I'll just go from there and then check it once we style through. So, okay, now texture. We're gonna do some texture up through here. This will help her um, be able to have her hair stand and have some volume. She has a lot of hair, but her hair texture is fine. Um, so, and usually the people with a lot of hair that have fine hair, like really need a lot of texture because it does seem to be just blonde. Like it falls, it's more limp and stuff like that. So if you do add texture, then like that, see, it'll help stand it up. It, it makes little, it cuts little hairs into those long hairs. So the long hairs will sit on top. So even just doing that is, it just shows you how much it helps. Okay, the Kenra mousse, it's the volume extra. Love this mousse. I rub it in, then I just put it everywhere throughout. I had another lady that like grabs little pieces and like rubs it in and does another little piece and rubs it in. So however you do it, just make sure you rub it in good everywhere. See, might as well scratch your head, huh? Mm, Why yes. it? <laughs> Give you a little, little massage. Okay, so this is the volume and lift spray. This will make and your hair like look filler, fuller and it will feel thicker, things like that. Um, love that stuff if you want your hair to look and feel thicker. Okay, so you're going to dry this down. Then the Epic Brush, I love the Epic Brush. Um, if you've watched my videos before, usually I have a black Epic Brush, um, but they just come out with the rose gold, so super cute. So of course I have to get the rose gold too. Um, but I think it's so, so cute. Okay, so you can see how I just took that brush all the way through her hair. That's going to help it stand up. It's going to help it dry. That's what I love about these epic brushes is there's holes in the brush. So the heat can go through um, the brush. And the, the cool thing about this brush, um, it can be used for all types of hair. So even though, you know, say you have curly, thick hair and you're not going to want to like, you know, go back and forth like this because then you'll have a fro, um, it's still good for combing out thick, long hair. Um, anyway, they are great. Great brushes. Okay. Then I take just a little bit of the styling paste, rub it in. Let me just kind of grab at this. So the picture she showed me, super cute, is just kind of, it's not like all spiked, but just like through this area, <clears throat> excuse me, the, the layers are kind of lifted up. Oh, that's so cute. Cute, Kathy. Okay, um, same thing back here. I'm just... I'm gonna to have to watch your YouTube channel so I can see how to do this. Oh yeah, see that's <laughs> true, I'm so sorry. <laughs> She's gonna to have to watch her own video because I have her turned away from the mirror. I'm so sorry. No. But good, that's good fine. Idea, see? I can do But that. Then, then you can go back to that if you need it, right? Mm -hmm. So that's good. All right, I'm going to back comb the top area of this. But I ran into Kathy and she has an always styled cute, so. 
I'm not worried about her. She's gonna style it super good. Okay, so I'm just kind of setting this back into place. And then I am gonna turn her to the mirror so I can see exactly what I'm doing. Okay, a little bit more here. Um, how does that feel in the front? Better that you can, I mean, I guess I need to put it in its place first. I'm just wondering, are these kind of pieced a little bit? They are. Let's, okay. let's see if you want them pieced more. Do you want them pieced more, do you think? Maybe a little bit. A little bit more. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. So see, this is what I love. Like when your clients talk to you, um, like make sure you ask them, you know what? Is there something they want changed or is this good or whatever? Um, so she's wanting these bangs pieced out more. Okay, so I'm gonna bring them down. I'm gonna come on this side and then I'll just piece them out this way. And Verdana never knows what picture I'm gonna bring from month to month. Yes, but that's <laughs> fun. Like that is something that Kathy has done, changed her hair like so much. Um, but it's so cute because in her phone, she has an area, you know, the saved area of haircuts. And so literally we do, we change it like every month. It's the best. It is the best. Yeah, it almost seems like it needs to be shorter up through this area. That's what we've loved too. We've done really short up like here and then kind of mm -hmm. went down before. Like we've done all the things. Okay, let's check this out one more time and make sure. Yeah, I like that. Is that better? Mm -hmm. Thank you, thank you for telling me. I truly appreciate it. Okay, so now I'm gonna spray it. Just kind of lift this. Well, that's gonna be easier to do because I literally took a lot of length off. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it would be that, you know, but it, yeah, I took a lot. So it will feel good. Okay, well, thank you so much, Kathy. You are darling. And I'm gonna turn her around one more time. So you can see how this is a little bit tight back there. Okay, going for a little ride. <laughs> it's all good. Hey, thanks so much, you guys. I appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the haircut. Um, hopefully some of these techniques are helping you. Um, I would love to help. I always love to help if I can. So let me know um, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. You guys, thanks again. Kathy, thank you again and have a fantastic day. See you next time.